Well, howdy folks, and welcome back to another episode of our Memory Cherish podcast. My name is Dr. Laura Whitman, and I'll be your host for today. Sir, and right beside her is me, Susie Marker, just your run-of-the-mill American from the Midwest who happens to work as a senior restoration artist here at Memory Cherish. Now, don't mind my country talk. I like to keep things down to earth. Absolutely, Mark, and that's part of why our listeners enjoy you so much. Today, we've got quite a deep topic. We'll be taking a dive into history, specifically at the time when the Berlin Wall fell. Her boy, Berlin Wall, you say? I seem to remember when I saw that on the TV. My mama, bless her heart, cried like there was no tomorrow. Indeed, Mark. It was a pivotal moment. You know, I spent years studying moments like these during my PhD research in art history, or specifically on photographic preservation. That'll do it, Laura. Dig in right into the books to learn everything there is on history. You've got more patience than an old bear waiting for the trout. Ha! If only patience was all it took, Mark. I was poring over thousands of photographs, each capturing a moment in time. Midnight escapes under the cover of darkness, families torn apart, emotional reunions at the fall, each a vivid memory crystallised. Indeed, Laura. One can only imagine. The fallout from wars always lands hard. I mean, just thinking about the people who were affected by the divide in Germany gives me the shivers. You've hit the nail right on the head there, Mark. The Berlin Wall left a deep divide. Suddenly, there were families torn in two. Fathers, mothers, children on separate sides. That's heartbreaking. Now we take a lot of things for granted, don't we? Trusty old Bess, my golden retriever back at the farm, would whimper out the door if I was gone for more than a few hours. Imagine what it's like for those families. It's unimaginable, Mark, the emotional trauma. Facing the reality of saying goodbye to a loved one, not knowing when you'll see them again, if ever, it's heart-wrenching. Wasn't there a lot of spying and secret police stuff going on, too? I hear they had one mighty powerful group called the Stasi. Yes, Mark, the Stasi. The secret police or Staatssicherheitsdienst. If I remember my German classes, constantly watching people's every move. Can you imagine living in constant fear? Your neighbour might snitch on you for daring to dream of a better life. It's a scary thought. And talk about the daring folks who tunnelled under the wall. You know, to escape the East for a chance at the good life on the other side. Heck, I can't even bear a visit to my dentist, Dr. Beasley. If I had to crawl through a tunnel... Hoo-hoo. You're not alone in that, Mark. I'm sure many of our listeners would agree. Makes me wonder if any of their grandparents, maybe, had to take that leap of faith. Heard it all changed when the wall fell, didn't it? I mean, we got some mighty fine notions of what freedom means swinging on this side of the pond, but joining their families and friends again... Well, you can't put a price on them. Absolutely, Mark. And remember, in the years leading up to the wall's fall, people were speaking up louder than ever, demanding political change and wishing, dreaming for a better tomorrow. And finally, their calls were heard. Over in speeches today, Doctor, does anyone ever tell you you'd make a good politician? Now, now, Mark, I'm happy right here discussing history and invoking memories with you. But speaking of politics, the fall of the wall sparked massive political change, didn't it? It did. That old wall was more than concrete and barbed wire. It was a symbol of a physical divide and ideological rift between East and West. A poignant analogy, Mark. As a preservation specialist, I believe it's important to remember and acknowledge our past, no matter how painful it might be. It helps us remember how far we've come and how far we still might have to go. Yes, indeed, Laura. And as someone who is part of Memory Cherish working to restore and preserve such memories, I reckon we cannot, and we must not forget our past. Beautifully said, Mark. And you know, working at Memory Cherish, it gives me a deep sense of satisfaction knowing we contribute by ensuring memories survive generations through personalised photo restoration... Uh, That's well spoken, Laura. Restoring one picture at a time, we're doing our best to ensure history is remembered. You know, for our next big topic, I reckon we go back to our Civil War, 1861. Not as famous, but just as heartfelt, don't you think? 
That sounds like a great idea, Mark. But for today, let's end our dive into history by reminding everyone out there, despite our past struggles and challenges, we continue to grow, remember, and cherish these preserved memories. Remember, we're all in this journey together. Amen to that, Laura. We'll leave y'all with this thought. Thank you so much for listening to the Timeless Tapestry podcast. If you enjoyed what we shared today, please help us by subscribing to the show. Not only will you be notified when the next one comes out, it also helps get the show out to many more people. We appreciate you and thank you so much for listening. <laughs>